Um, this is a mobility controller. We would like to change the operating system version from version 10 that is managed by Aruba Central to version 8. Um, we would like to use it as a mobility controller, uh, as a mobility controller, like as a, not like as a gateway. So if you issue the command show version on this, um, it's version 10.4. And if you issue the command show image version, you will notice two partitions are version 10, one 10.3, another one is 10.4. Now the active one is the default boot is partition one. So you have two methods to do it. You can do it from the GUI interface. That's the mobility controller or gateway if you like. And we can do it from the GUI interface or we can do it from um, the command line. I'll show you both methods uh, in this case. So from the GUI, uh, number one, we need to make sure there is a TFTP running. So we go to maintenance. And we go to upgrade TFTP. Now TFTP is a, a simple file transfer protocol. So this is running now. And if I'd like to show directory, one of them is this uh, operating system 8.9. So we're going to use that. So we know it does exist. Um, now the IP is the local IP, which is the local machine IP. So it's 172. The image name I did copy. Um, so copy the name. I paste it here. I would like to put this one in partition zero and reboot the controller after upgrade. You can clearly see the two partitions. 10.3 and 10.4 and partition 1 being the default boot so we're going to do partition 0 reboot save current configuration that's fine and we're going to go upgrade if everything works fine everything works fine you notice this is being transferred and this is what you see in the tftp server which is on the local machine and that will cause the controller to reboot and then that becomes part of uh, 8.9. Also notice this gateway or this controller is a standalone. I, so I try to reload. Um, there's no need to do this because there's an already upgrade image. So it's reloaded by itself. That's a different one, but it's the same story, except the fact that there's no um, uh, image in one of the partitions so show version show image version so we're going to upload to this partition and then that image will be 8.9 so now as we've seen this has only One image in partition zero, I would like to upgrade or install 8.9 image into partition one. So we're going to say copy from TFTP and the IP address of the TFTP and the name of the file, which is this one. That's the name of the file and the options we um, go to system and we go partition one in this case and if we go to the tftp server itself we should see it happening so that's copied and it is being saved to flash and you can clearly see copied and partition was successful this will boot the system from Partition 1 during the next reboot. So, show image version. We can clearly see what's going on. And then that's not going to be default boot. We, and if you issue the command show image, still version 10, obviously, because currently show version, sorry. 
um, version 10. I'm going to just reload and that will cause it to boot from partition 1. Now the other uh, controller, we're going to log in, show version, we can see 8.9, show image version, one of them 8, another one is 10. Now what we expect was 8. Now we have a look. That's 8.9 and it is the default boot. And if you show the command show version, you're going to see it's 8.9. Show EP database, you notice there's no EP. Now we're going to show you how to convert an AP from being a standalone AP into managed by a mobility controller. Now we are on the AP itself, uh, as you can clearly see. We can reset this access point, so but we issue the command show version, we're going to see this is on 8.12. So it doesn't really matter which operating system because at the end it will pick up the operating system downgrade or upgrade from the controller and it's model 5.5. We don't normally use it as a campus AP, this is just for demo. So I'm going to reset this access point um, because this AP show network has um, this. So what we're going to do what is the base all? This is being reset. The name is by default is the MAC address and um, show network. You're going to see it set me up. So what we can do now, we will do, we will do this convert into campus and the IP address of our mobility controller is 10.1.10.100. If that works, it will um, reboot while it is being converged and will join the uh, mobility controller. Now on the mobility controller, we have also called uh, control plane security. So we need uh, to whitelist the, the access point or disable the control plane CPSEC. We don't recommend doing this, but uh, we will need to at least whitelist this AP. So that's the GUI interface for our mobility controller. We can see the version 8.9 at the bottom left. So what we'd like to do in the configuration in the system you go to CPSEC, it says enable CPSEC, but it doesn't enable. We would like in this occasion to just to do auto set. You could, if you wanted, only accept APs from specified ranges. That's a best practice uh, for security reasons. But uh, we'll auto um, cert and we're going to submit. Building changes deploy. Now, we should command show AP database. You're going to see the AP is here. We need a license, obviously. That's we will install the licenses. But show AP database will show you what is going on. And that is the AP that is now um, in the default group, the model. That's the IP address. And the switch IP is the controller IP. There's no standby. And L means license is missing to Ike version 2 and i means um, inactive but that's fine because we this is l can be fixed by uh, adding a license and um, the flags 2 is the tunnel type ike version 2 and uh, so using ike version 2 and uh, the i because it doesn't advertise anything